Hi, thank you. Any one of the audience could probably give this talk, since many of you have lived it. Does Vancouver need a new citywide plan? Yes, simple answer. <laughs> There's two questions. What's going to be the content? Do we use existing plans, or do we come up with new plans? Or the question is, who's going to be involved? Is it going to be staff going and writing a draft plan, or is it going to be the community doing a city plan times two engagement? I would argue that Vancouver's got a lot of strategic directions. Many of them have been there since the 1970s. They probably need to be wordsmith, but they certainly don't necessarily need to be rethought. And indeed, if I was putting together the city's plan today, we've got a lot of chapters that already exist. It's just that people like myself, when I was director of plan, uh, city plans, screwed up. I got so excited with the staff and the community and doing all these plans, we never actually put them together. So they're all sitting out there. Many of them have been updated over the last few years. We've got land use, which has excess zoning capacity, hard for the public to figure out where it is and what it is. We've got central area plans, which Larry was involved with. And over the last decade, we've had area plans done for almost every community. We're not short of plans. The difficulty is that the only place you can find them together is the regional context statement, and that's not really written for people who want to look at Vancouver's plan. So, in terms of options for a new plan, I definitely build on existing plans. I would involve multi-stakeholders, might not go as far as city plan in terms of participation. I would not, however, if I was a council member, tell staff to go away and do a draft plan for public input. Because in the old days, you might have been able to get away with that. But we all know you can't today. The public has a right to be involved in their own community. I would suggest that the Community Visions Program identified a lot of centers for future development. I think there's been a tendency over the last few years for councils to forget anything happened before they got into office. But indeed, when you look at city plan, the variety of people who are involved, with almost 100,000 being engaged, I would be out there reminding those folks that they have been part of a process, that their various discussions around increasing housing and where it would happen, and their discussions around services and who pays, and the, which all ended up in city plan, where surprisingly, as one of the conclusions, about 80% supported increasing housing choice in existing neighborhoods provided growth paid for new services. So we had city plan. A lot of citywide policy came out of that. We had area plans. But the neighborhood center program really never got off the ground. The first neighborhood center happened with the community developing new housing forms, developers looking at and discussing with the community what the options were, and indeed the community getting very involved in looking at ways to exchange density for, in this case, a new food store and a new library. When the neighborhood center for Knight and Kingsway went to public hearing, Many people didn't even hear about it or know it happened. Because when the public hearing happened, the community said, vote for the plan. There were no protests because it was the community's plan. And I think, to some extent, that left some people feeling that nothing was happening. Indeed, if you look at Knight and Kingsway today, a lot's been happening. And an interesting article recently was written by Pete McMartin about what happened in the Knight and Kingsway area. So what I would do if I was putting together a new city plan, I would assemble and review the existing policies. I'd encourage the public to come back out and look at the various neighborhood centers identified in community visions. 
I'd have the menu of different kinds of housing options, which were invented at Knight and Kingsway and have been worked on and improved since then. And I would engage the communities in looking at what kind of improvements can happen in the neighborhood using some of the DCL CAC money to accompany new zoning with new opportunities for services. There's an old saying, uh, there's a Chinese proverb, tell me I forget, show me I remember, involve me I understand. That actually is great, although I must say from recent experience, tell me I reject is more likely to happen, show me I'll show you, <laughs> and involve me I support maybe the directions that need to be put together to create a new and updated citywide plan.